Hi friends, welcome to Bioglobe. If you like this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Today we are going to discuss the topic Crisis of Biodiversity. Myself, Mohamed Jaseel, a Assistant Professor of Microbiology, Marcus Arts and Science College, Adhavanag. What are the crises of biodiversity? First one, climate change. Changes in the climate throughout our planet's history have, of course, altered life on Earth. In the long run, ecosystems have come and gone and species routinely go extinct. But rapid man-made climate change speeds up this process without affording ecosystems and species the time to adopt. For example, rising ocean temperature and diminishing Arctic sea ice affects marine biodiversity and can shift vegetation zones having global implications. Overall, climate is a major factor in the distribution of species across the globe, but many are not able to cope causing them to die out. Cope means deal effectively with something difficult. Then what we can do or what are the measures to be adopted for controlling the crisis? Individuals can take various steps to fight climate change, such as reducing their carbon footprints, Second one, promoting education and contacting elected officials. This is done usually by international government and cities can lead the charge of the climate change. Then second one, deforestation and habitat loss. Deforestation is a direct cause of extinction and loss of biodiversity. One of the important factors for the loss of biodiversity. An estimated 18 million acres of forest are lost each year due to in part to logging and other human practices. Logging means cutting trees, destroying the ecosystem on which many species are dependent. Tropical rainforests in particular such as the Amazon hold a high percentage of world's non-species. Yet the regions themselves are in decline due to human activities. What we can do? The solutions to deforestation mostly lie in policy, that's depending on certain policies. Companies and corporations can adopt best practices and refuse to use timber and paper suppliers that contribute to deforestation. So, refuse to use timber and paper suppliers that contribute to deforestation. In the same vein, the same vein means same thing. Conscious consumers can refuse to patronize companies that do and put pressure on retailers that employ unsustainable manufacturing methods. Individuals can also participate in land preservation methods through charities and private corporations can do an effort, can take an action, can take a leadership for land preservation through charities. Ultimately, however, international governments need to enact stronger scientific pro forest protection laws. The pro forest protection laws are very important for conservation of forest. Then third point, over-exploitation. Over-hunting, over-fishing and over-harvesting contribute greatly to the loss of biodiversity. These are very very important for the losing of biodiversity. Killing of numerous species over the past several hundred years. Then poaching and other forms of hunting for profit increase the risk of extinction of species. Poaching means cook or an egg without its shell in or over boiling water. The extinction of an apex predator or a predator at the top of a good chain can result in catastrophic consequences for ecosystem. Apex predator means alpha predator or predator in the top of food chain. Catastrophic consequences means disasters or harmful things. Then what we can do to conserve or to remove the overexploitation? Conservation and continued awareness surrounding overexploitation, especially poaching and overfishing are the key terms. So you should, we should aware or conserve or uh, awareness to especially poaching and our fishing are the key terms. Governments need to actively enforce the rules against such practices and individuals can be more conscious of what they eat and purchase. 
it's very very important what they eat or what they purchase individuals to be more conscious about and government needs actively take rules against such practices other solutions such as removing subsidies granted to large scale fisheries can help too then fourth one invasive species the introduction of non native species into an ecosystem can threaten the endemic wildlife either as predators or competing for resources that is the introduction of non native species affect human health and it upset the economics what we can do according to the national wildlife federation solutions include first one creating systems to prevent introduction of invasive species in the first place second one effectively monitoring for new infestations and swiftly eradication newly detected invaders new infestation means state of being invaded then swiftly eradication means high speed eradications some scientists use more creative means such as google street view google street view means it is a map comes under google then pollution pollution is the last term for the uh, controlling or for the uh, term itself then for the burning of fossil fuels re releasing dangerous chemicals into the atmosphere and in some cases depleting ozone levels burning of fossil fuels is the a uh, very very dangerous thing we can do in our daily life so from the burning of fossil fuels releasing dangerous chemicals into the atmosphere and in some cases depleting ozone levels to dumping 19 billion pounds of plastic into the ocean every year two things are the burning fossil fuels and dumping 19 billion pounds of plastic into the ocean every year that may lead to serious pollutions pollution completely disrupt the earth ecosystem while it may not necessarily cause extinction pollutants do have the potential to influence species habits what we can do for example acid rain which is typically caused by the burning of fossil fuels can acidify smaller bodies of water and soil it negatively affecting the species that live there by changing breeding and feeding habits then what we can do the average person can do a number of things to fight atmospheric and hydrologic pollution such as recycling conserving energy at home and using public transportation full stop the environmental protection agency has helpful guide here thank you for watching this video if you like this channel please like share and subscribe